Hello everyone, welcome back to Apollo XP95 slash Discovery System Test 15. There has been quite a lot of changes which I'm going to be showing you. Nothing with the panel, um, this is this mostly stays the same really. So firstly, it's actually in the garage but it's not inside the garage, it is actually outside the garage. So let's just have a look at that right now. So this is the newer de device edition. This is uh, an Apollo XP95 loop powered beacon, as you can see in a waterproof enclosure. So I don't want actually a sounder outside only because it would, there's no need for uh, outdoor sound, plus it will annoy the neighbors. Um, obviously we don't want that. But yeah, it's just a beacon just for visual indication in the garden, really. Just tucked away in the corner, just so it's not too like uh, obtrusive or whatever. But yeah, so yeah. That's the new device edition. Now, secondly in here, I don't know if you remember the uh, dodgy expander that used to be here, but I've gone on eBay and bought a brand new one and actually fitted it. So yeah, that's now in here. Much better now, I prefer it. I can actually test it without it being dodgy. And the device that was actually here has now been moved to the hallway. Um, it's not actually installed yet, obviously, because that one doesn't have a base on it. Um, but basically it's just to give a bit of sound over in the living room uh, hallway area although the hallway doesn't actually need necessarily a sound room because there's one upstairs but yeah um, so yeah that's one change okay so this is where the uh, hidden sounder is it's just right down there uh, moving on to upstairs uh, there's been a number of changes here actually so not with this one but there's something back in this room and that is the uh, heat or well this is a multi-sensor actually back in here let's use the terrier one it's nice to uh looks apart to look at so thought yeah that's fine um when we put the detector back in here though um but yeah this uh discovery sounder beacon uh sorry the sounder base discovery sounder base is now discovery sounder beacon base the pulling of these behind, but it's actually turned off only because it's facing right towards the bed. And I didn't want to um, disturb, obviously with pulling LEDs at night can get a bit annoying. Still got the main one. Um, in the bathroom right here, the Discovery heat detector has been replaced to a brand new one, just a like for like replacement really. Um, I'll put some B-roll in, but basically, the old one was a bit burnt and had a hard life, so I thought, let's just replace it. Something brand new, why not? Found some heat detectors on eBay, so just replace them. And this room is exactly the same. Um, my room, this uh, sound base in here has been replaced to an XP95 uh, or integrated sound base, only because I wanted to make the system sound different. Got bored of the Discovery sound base. And now there's actually a beacon as well in here. Um, when the panel was here, and you can see where the uh, thing, where the old uh, trunking used to be, where it was stuck and it's left the glue, that needs to be sorted out really. But yeah, I've just whacked on a beacon again in here and fished your cable up through the wall. Wasn't a uh, difficult task actually, but yeah looks quite nice having the beacon back in here since especially since my room normally has a sound base i've never actually had a sound of beacon base in my room only because either i've got a separate beacon or something but yeah that's now in here now the devices that are going to be tested in this video is we're going to first do the optical in the loft then we're going to do the heat in the uh ensuite bathroom um, and then we're going to do the downstairs expander optical and also the downstairs call point because that hasn't been tested in a while. So yeah, those will be tested. So this is the uh, detector in the loft uh, device seven. So yeah, oh dear, sorry for the shaking. All right, so yeah, let's just spray it. Yeah, 
There we go. It's probably gone into pre alarm. Now we are going to test the bathroom heat detector but we're going to be using uh, walk tests instead so I don't actually have to walk back to the panel. So let's put into walk test now. Yep that's now in test. Heat detector in the uh, ensuite bathroom so yeah let's Yeah, and the reason why those sounders don't go off is because um, they're part of the uh, dinner time evacuation thing. So they won't, they, it's only in test mode, they won't go off. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video right here to show you the cause and effect to sort this out on why the landing sounder is not going off. Now, this is on output group three. I'll show you the cause and effect. So, this is all the devices on the system and there are 26 out of it will say it right here out of 126 um it gives all like the quiescent current as well the default up output groups i've got here is 199 and 198 and yeah uh so if i go to cause and effect so yeah if we go to group three um so basically this general event is, so basically we've got this input, so you can add an input, and it's also got another input as well. So output group 3 would also turn on with any fire as well. You know, I could add a, a zone rule. So, ah, okay. So it could be that I need to add a zone rule like what I've got in here. Yeah, because these are zone rules, whereas this is general fire. Ah, that's what it is. I needed to add that, not this. This is just a general rule. Ah, so yeah, this is in test state right here. So what I need to do is delete this. Yeah, so I've just immediately sorted it out now. Anyways, let's get back to the video and let's continue with the system test. Okay, so now we're going to move on to testing the expander optical in here and also the core point under the cupboard as well. So, yeah, the system, sorry, the system is in test mode. So I've activated test mode for this zone as well. Um, but yeah, let's spray it now.
There we go. It's probably gone into a pre alarm. But... There we go, that works well. And now the final device for the system test is now the MCP in here. So yeah, it's been a while since I've done this M MCP. It's sort of been forgotten about, but yeah, let me just get the keys ready. Okay. It's probably going to go off again because I can't find the hole for it. There we go. I blame the fact that the arm bread was in the way. I've just noticed the LEDs are still on. Um, I would have thought they may of they would have turned off by now but yeah is the led still on under here no that's gone out okay um i think it's just a matter of knocking the system to reset that might explain it there's still the expand optical it's apparently an alarm device 29 yeah it's still got quite high value so and take them out of test so yeah we can just do that and go back to master room take that out of test as well now the system is back to normal there we go oh uh oh pre-alarm I might try and reset that again. Or shall I disable the sound as quick before it? Oh no, 25 now. That should be good to go now. There we go, that's back to normal. I just reset it because it dropped down again. Um, yeah, those expander devices, I guess, don't clear as well, well, maybe it's airflow or something. But yeah, um, that will conclude this system test for this video. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the system test as well. And I will see you in another video. Goodbye, everyone.